So from Capitol Reef to Canyonlands, it's 258 miles or approximately a four hour drive. And Goblin Valley State Park is almost situated equally between the two. You know, we, we're driving through here and it's just miles of this desolate, uninhabitable area. I've never seen such horrible looking land. And this is between Capitol Reef and Canyonlands. You know, as soon as you leave Capitol Reef, it's very nice much of the way, but um, you know, about 45 minutes on, you get into this very strange area. Well, we have one night without any reservations, and um, we pulled into Goblin Valley Visitor Center. The sign outside said no vacancies, campground full, but we went in and asked, and they said yes, they had one spot. So we are going to be staying here tonight for one night, and uh, we can take a look at this state park, which I'm pretty excited about. I've seen a lot of pictures, and it looks like it's going to be super cool. Well, we made it to the Valley of Goblins just in time for, I think, a sandstorm. It's unbelievably windy here. My God, this weather is about to beat us to death. But look at this. Pretty cool. are having a great time. So they call these goblins and gnomes. This is some of the strangest terrain I have seen today. First it looked like we were on the moon. Now I don't know where the heck we are. Very odd. We're lost. Let's try this way. Okay, so we're working our way back out. The sand is just pelting my face. My advice for you if you come down here, wear a buff and some sunglasses. So windy and sandy out there. Uh, I can feel sand but grit between my teeth. So this exhibit talks about how the miners found uranium. 
the Geiger counter and handbooks. These are from the 1950s. The black light and the battery pack. Pretty cool. This says that for more than 8,000 years, people collected stones from this area for making tools. And that Goblin Valley contains a high quality stone used to make dart points and knives. So the ranger in this visitor center said it's windy like this every single day. This is very typical. She says sometimes it's even more windy. What about it now? I don't know. She said it starts in the morning. She said the mornings are kind of calm. Then as soon as the afternoon hits, it starts. This place is neat to stop and visit for maybe an hour. But, I mean, if you need a shower, it's a good place for a shower. But other than that, move on just because of this wind. So Fred and I are just sitting in the car taking a break from this wind and sand and you know I was commenting none of the videos that I saw about Goblin State Park mentioned this wind and sand. Well I'm here to tell you it is windy and it is sandy so you know this this sitting outside is no picnic here. And you know, I'm trying to be upbeat and positive, but this is our 29th day of camping. So I think we're both a little tired and then to, to face this, it's impossible to stand outside and enjoy the afternoon with this sand pelting your face and getting in between your teeth and it just feels like grit. Well, it's 8.25 in the morning on a Friday. We got up bright and early, packed our stuff, and we are getting the hell out of here. We are ready to move on. We're going to Canyonlands. Looking forward to it. By the way, the winds never stopped here. Maybe for about an hour, at about five o'clock this morning, they slowed down, but then they picked right back up again. 